Hello from the future me. If you want your skin to be this delicious and dewy and juicy and just like clear and vibrant and firm and plump, like guys, my skin has not looked this good and I don't know how long. I'm gonna be showing you all the things that I do for my skincare, my morning routine, my two nighttime skincare routines because I do rotate, I do every other. So I have two different routines, which I'm gonna show you. I'm also gonna be showing you any supplements that I take and just kind of the lifestyle I live in order to maintain my skin and get it looking, in my humble opinion, as amazing as it looks right now. Skincare is very particular to everyone. Even if you have similar skin to me, dry, sensitive, you're in your 30s, we can all react to things differently, you know? So just do keep that in mind, but this is just what's been working for me. And if you're just interested in what I'm doing, like I'm always so interested in people's skincare routines. If you're interested in my skincare routine, then obviously I'm showing it to you. I hope you guys enjoy. If you enjoy videos like this, if you enjoy skincare, do be sure to leave it a thumbs up. I love you and let's pop right into the video. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a brand new day. The pussycat has just entered the building. Brogy, I feel like I'm getting a little sick, but I also feel like everyone and their mother is sick. It is Saturday morning and y'all know I live for the weekends. And I thought in this vlog, we would pick more of a theme. I think I'm gonna talk mostly about all the stuff that I do for my skin, my skincare routine, how I take care of my skin. And this isn't just gonna be like a skincare routine, like a morning and nighttime routine. I'm gonna give you everything that I think encompasses healthy skin. I'm gonna talk about my workouts that I do, how much water I drink, you know, not really drinking because I really haven't been drinking. I'll have like a glass of wine, like one once a week or like sometimes even every other week. So we're gonna talk all about that. I'm not gonna show you the whole routine because I don't wanna bore you and I talk about this all the time, but obviously when I'm talking about skincare, I need to do my new face device. So this is what I keep all of my new face essentials inside of. Also, I wanted to paint my nails and look super cute for you guys in this video, but our hot water heater broke yesterday and I took a freezing cold shower. I have to wash my hair before I paint my nails. It's kind of just like a rule. It's like a, a law. And I really wanna try that new natural polish that I bought when I went to Whole Foods. We'll do that in this video too, because Mike and I are going to the beach house today so that we can do stuff, we can like winterize it, but also so that I can take a hot shower and wash my hair. Here's my new face device. If you don't know what it is, it is a microcurrent device. It literally works out the muscles of your face to help tighten your face overall. You see instant results, but the longer you use it, the better results you see. Reusable cotton pad. I will put everything down below in the description as I try my best to always do. I like to take my alcohol-free toner by Neutrogena. I also really like the micellar water. You don't need as many products as I need. You can just pick and choose out of all the things that I have. I've had this for a long time. Time. Once I run out of this, I'm just going to switch over to the micellar water, but I want to use it up because I bought it and I do really like it. This is a really great drugstore toner, alcohol free, and it doesn't strip your skin of all the moisture. And then these, I got reusable rounds on Amazon. The settings on my camera are terrible. It has a soft side and then it has a more like rough side to exfoliate your skin. I'm gonna take it on the rough side just because I haven't really been using exfoliating toners ever since I got my facial in Vegas. My facialist told me that I have very thin skin and I'm exfoliating too much and it's making my skin barrier even thinner. My skin is very irritated today. I don't know if you could see. This has to do with my cycle. I can't really like prevent it, at least I don't think so. I'm gonna take a little bit on the soft side to just get that oil off of my brows because I've been putting castor oil on my brows. That's how they're big and bushy and bold and I'm loving them. I feel like my 20 something year old self. I'm not gonna lie to you, I have been a little lazy and I haven't really been doing my new face as much as I, I'm sorry if I'm being annoying, I'm like trying to make sure that this is focusing. I haven't been doing my new face as much as I normally do because I've just been lazy, but also I'm really running out of my Peter Thomas Roth cucumber mask right here. Obviously you can see I have like almost none left. I bought some during the Sephora VIB sale and Lord knows it takes a year and a lifetime for those shipments to ship. Take this with my EOS. I think that's what it is. No, Eco Tools, what am I saying? And I'm just gonna brush this on my skin. 
And you can make the new face whatever you want it to be. So you can do a really long routine, you could do a really short routine. You need to use a decent amount of gel. It does come with its own gel primer, which you can totally use. But I really like this because that gel primer, I find that I just rinse it off my face and it doesn't really do anything for my skin. But this helps to really hydrate my skin and I really enjoy it. And it's a mask. So I use it to do the microcurrent and then I leave it on for like five minutes and then I rinse it off. Here, I put it on, you heard it, and then it beeps. So I'm gonna do, you wanna do a section one time over until it beeps. I see a lot of people online who just like go really fast and don't follow the beeps. And I don't know if it like matters, but I would imagine it matters because that's not how New Face says to do it. So I just like to follow the rules when it comes to skincare. So I'm gonna do every section six times over, which is a lot. So I'm probably gonna be sitting here for like 25 minutes, but that's okay because I'm dedicating the time to do it. And then I like to go up like this. And if you feel it's stinging a little bit, it doesn't hurt, but just add a little bit more gel. Now I'm gonna do holds. If you look at my mouth, you could see that it kind of like sags a little bit here. So I take this and I just put it here and I'll hold it for four to six beeps, just holding like this. Again, I will link the tutorial up here because I've done this so many times, I don't wanna bore you and I don't wanna eat up all of the time in this video on my new face device. But I did wanna mention that in the morning, I did film this. The first thing I do, the very first thing I do in the morning for my skin is I wake up, I go downstairs and I pre-make my coffee the night before so that when I wake up in the morning, there's a pot done. My husband actually makes my coffee for me. I just hit the brew later button. I use the Vital Proteins Collagen Peptides. I take my mug in the morning. I get my protein out. I'll take two hefty scoops. You could do 10 to 20 grams of it in a serving. I do 10 grams. I put it into my mug. I add my hot coffee and then I stir the collagen into the coffee just because it does not taste like anything. I'm gonna tell you that now. And people told me that and I didn't believe them because I've tried collagen before and it's so disgusting. This one doesn't taste like anything. However, it definitely melts and mixes better into hot liquids as opposed to cold liquids. So I put the collagen in, I put the hot coffee in, and then I mix the collagen and the hot coffee so that it mixes nicely before I go ahead and add my milk. And you know, I love my Chobani creamer. And then voila, I have my cup of coffee right here. Basically what this collagen does is it helps with skin hydration, skin elasticity. It also helps to promote healthier bones and joints and your hair, skin, and nails. So it is something that I've been doing. I have definitely noticed a difference. I feel like a broken record ever since I had my facial in Vegas. I literally have changed my entire skincare routine, which is why I decided to dedicate most of this vlog to my new skincare. But I'm gonna go ahead finish off my new face device and then we will move on to my workout because I think that like working out really helps to keep your insides young, your outsides young. My mom really always worked out. She was a great example. She always went for walks. She always took me for walks. We used to do Tai Bo in the front room of our house. We would literally like move the furniture and her and I would do Tai Bo for like 40, 45 minutes. So my mom really instilled in me at a young age how important it is to work out and it really like showed me how good I feel when I work out. So that's why I always do it. I really do think that your skin encompasses everything. Like I said, how much you sleep, which every night, Mike and I go to bed around 10, 10.30. I would say I usually fall asleep between 10.30 and 11 p.m. Weekdays, I usually wake up by six. On the weekend, I usually wake up by like 7.30. I need a lot of sleep. Not everyone needs a lot of sleep, but make sure you're getting enough sleep. I would say like make sure you're getting at least like seven, eight hours because I think that that really makes a big difference in your mental health, your physical health, and your skincare. So just to know, just I'm trying to think of all the things that I need to mention, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and drink my collagen coffee. And then you guys know, after I use my new face, I do wash the Peter Thomas Roth mask off of my face. And then before working out, I always go in with a little bit of the Merit Great Skin Serum. I like to use this when I work out because it absorbs really quickly into the skin. It leaves my skin plumped, hydrated, and it has a bunch of hyaluronic acid to target multiple layers of skin. It's just really comfortable when I work out, so that's why I use it. And again, I try to just hydrate my skin as much as possible. And this also has niacinamide, which helps to brighten the skin and smooth texture.
And then when you're talking about skincare, you have to talk about water consumption. Every day I aim to drink at least 100 ounces of water. I have this cute little <laughs> water bottle that I drink out of and it has about 22 ounces. So I'll drink about three to four of these. And I also have one to two cups of green tea a day. And then like I already touched upon, I think exercise is such an important part of your lifestyle for your mental health, physical health, and for your skin. So I always walk on the treadmill. I walk about 30 to 45, sometimes 60 minutes. And I also incorporate a little bit of weightlifting or I'll do yoga, Pilates, whatever else I feel like I feel like doing that day. I washed my hair tonight. So I like to use my Kitsch headband. Basically, I wear this all the time at night when I take my makeup off in the morning when I wash my face to just like keep my hair nice and dry and not disgusting. And honestly, you don't even need to tie your hair back. It kind of just holds it back out of your face. It is genius. I have a little bit of makeup on that I put on today. I'm going to take it off. I've been using this. I really like this the Shiseido Perfect Cleansing Oil. I like that it has a pump. It's a runnier oil. Personally for me, I prefer the Pharmacy Green Clean, but I like this one also. And on my dry face, I'm just gonna take this off. If there's one thing I don't think you need to spend your money on, it is a cleanser. You don't need to spend a lot of money on cleansing oil either, but I do think that cleansing oils vary drastically from one to another. Like this one is a liquid. You guys have seen my green clean and it's more of a solid. It's like a solid oil. Just take your time taking your makeup off because I feel like a lot of people say that cleansers don't work for them, oil cleansers. And it's just because you need to be patient. Like you need to work the oil into the skin. And essentially this is what breaks up makeup off of your face. Add a little bit of water, massage it in a little bit further. And then I'm gonna wash it all off. My face is still wet after taking all the oil off of it. And then I really like this drugstore, Neutrogena Skin Balancing 2% Polyhydroxy Acid. It's purifying and softening. It's just a gel, a gel, a gel cleanser. And it's good for normal and combo skin, but honestly, I like it to take my makeup off. It doesn't like strip my face too much of oils and dry me out, but it does a good job of like cleaning it. I'm getting whatever makeover, makeover. I can't speak. Getting one of her makeup is left over on my face. And it like suds up. So it just makes me feel like it really helps to clean the skin. And now I'm gonna rinse this off. Number seven, Advanced 1.5 Complex Retinol Drugstore. I really like this. I take two pumps. Retinol is really good at helping with fine lines. It really helps with the texture of your skin. I've noticed such a big difference in the texture of my skin since incorporating this specific retinol. I'm gonna down my neck. And it does help to exfoliate the skin too. And it feels really good on the skin. It's not sticky. It kind of feels like water and it's affordable. I bring it down. I would bring it down all the way. Normally I don't have clothes on when I do this. I use this on top of it, which I want to find something that has a better texture to go on top of my retinol. You're supposed to give the retinol a couple minutes to dry. So honestly, I would brush my teeth. So actually, let me actually brush my teeth. Sensodyne, you guys know. I've been whitening my teeth and I need to use Sensodyne, otherwise my teeth are too sensitive. Just to add an extra layer of hydration, especially now that the cooler months are upon us and also to help this slide across the face and soak into the skin better, I'm gonna use a facial mist. This is from, I think this is the Beach Mist by The Lifestyle & Co. My brother got it for me for Christmas last year and I just keep rebuying it. And now I'm gonna take my Kiehl's Midnight Recovery I'm literally on the bottom and thankfully my Sephora order shipped today. So I'm very excited to do an unboxing. Make sure you're subscribed and click the bell button so you get a notification. But like this cream is so good. I've noticed such a difference in my fine lines and how like plump my skin is. Plumped, younger looking skin. Honestly, Kiehl's, and I hate saying anti-aging, but I just think that like Kiehl's is the brand that my skin, I have very dry sensitive skin. My skin doesn't get irritated from their products, it plumps my skin and then it pushes, it like plumps it and it like pushes the wrinkles out. It pushes like anything that like ages me out. It's so weird, but I just, I love Kiehl's and one day it'd be a dream to work with them because I just, I love their products so much. And I feel like, you no, know, Kiehl's has been around forever, but it's kind of like slept on. Like, I feel like when people look for skincare, they want something that's exciting, like aesthetically pleasing. I mean, this isn't ugly, but 
You know, I feel like people look for like brands with more curb appeal. This stuff is expensive. I think this is $65. Granted, it lasts a, a decent amount of time and you get 1.7 ounces. I've been using this forever. This lasts a lifetime. Sobel Skin RX Trimple Oligo Peptide Eye Cream. Guys, I have very sensitive skin around my eyes especially, and a lot of fragranted eye creams bother me. So I don't use a lot and I focus the cream on the outside of my skin and then I bring it up like that. Like, I don't know, is this boring? But I feel like I love when people share their beauty routines and I always have so many questions and I wish that they would like walk me through it. And so I watch a lot of vlogs and I was thinking that today and I was like, why don't I just do more tutorials on my vlogs? Like, this is what I would do. It's literally Saturday night at 9.52 and I'm taking my makeup off and hanging out with you guys in my bathroom. That's it. I don't use a lot of products. I use just enough. Definitely need to put something on my lips. I'll put the Laneige sleeping mask on, but it's next to my bed because I leave it there because if I don't leave it there, I'm not gonna use it. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of my Rodan and Fields Lash Boost Serum on my brow because I just feel like, I don't know what's happening, but this brow, it's like balding in the front. I don't know. That's it. I'm fresh faced. I'm ready to put my pajamas on and go to bed. Good night, I love you so much. I'll see you in the morning. Uh, I feel like this angle is so much better than my other tripod. I'm testing out a new tripod today, so fingers crossed. Because I feel like you guys are like always up my nose or the angle is just not flattering for me. Making my protein shake. I did just work out. I did a 30 minute leg workout with Sydney Cummings. I will put the workout down below, but I didn't film it. I'm so sorry, but I walked for 55 minutes and then I did a 30 minute leg workout. I just like to walk, it clears my brain. Exercise has always been a really good mental release for me and I feel like endorphins must somehow, some way help you look younger. Um, but yeah, I am making a protein shake and I just wanted to mention that I do use the Halo Beauty. This is Tati Westbrook. This is her hair, skin, and nails. Yeah, I use the booster for hair, skin, and nails. So something else that I do for my skin. I don't like ingesting these pills. I don't, they taste terrible. So what I do is I break them in half. I empty the contents of the pill in my protein shake, lackadaisical protein shake. I don't enjoy protein shakes, honestly. I'd rather eat a meal, but when I work out, I don't get enough protein in, so I try to have one every day. I just, I don't really enjoy protein shakes. Do you enjoy them? And if you do, leave me a good recipe down below. I literally put almond milk, vanilla, ice cream, protein, and then my Halo Beauty, and that is it. And I would normally put coffee if I had any leftover, but I don't because I drank an entire pot to myself today, as I normally do. I use two different cleansers for two different things in the morning. If in the morning I wake up and I slept late and I need to just like get ready and get on the bus, I use the Mario Badescu Enzyme Cleansing Gel. It doesn't strip the skin of its natural oils. It's really good for those of you who have very dry, sensitive skin. It kind of just takes off the nighttime skincare and that's it. So you start with a fresh, canvas but then mornings where i wake up and most mornings i have been waking up and working out so when i just need a little bit more of a cleanse because i not only have my nighttime skincare routine from the night before but i also have sweat and just like grime from working out i will use something a little bit more cleansing again this is a cure ultra hydrating green juice cleanser it kind of just cleanses a little bit more but doesn't take too much off so i did just work out in case you can't tell by my workout clothes. So I'm gonna get in the shower and I'm going to wash my face with this. And this is the only facial care that I do in the shower. And I've been putting off the shower because our water heater broke and normally I like a pretty warm shower. I had to put my robe on because, oh my God, can you see my fingers are white? I'm frozen from a cold shower. Oh my God, I'm chilled to the bone. If only you could feel my, my hands right now. Okay, I'm gonna put my headband back on. I like to use vitamin C and hyaluronic acid. So, so I'll show you how I mix the two. Okay, so in the morning, in the bathroom, after I wash my face, Good Molecules Hyaluronic Acid Serum. This is like $3 at Ulta, maybe like six. I think three is an exaggeration, but I take a full pump of this and then I take my, the new vitamin C powder. You're supposed to take two to three shakes of this and you can mix it in anything. I just like to mix it in my serum and it's literally powder. I mix the two like this. So it just like vanishes into it. And then I put this all over my face 
And this is my serum for the day. Vitamin C helps to brighten and then hyaluronic acid helps to plump. So it's brightening and hydrating my face. A little bit of mist to help moisten my skin again. I really like this. It's the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Veil Mist to hydrate and glow. A lot of people use this as a makeup setting spray. I don't like it as a makeup setting spray. I love it for my skincare routine. So it boosts radiance and luminosity and instantly calms the skin in one spritz. It's enriched with antioxidants, vitamin, and hydrators like peach extract, cucumber. I just like it. I don't know. It feels really light on the skin. And again, if you are someone that's dry like me, a nice mist is like an extra added ounce of like hydration. The water cream. And this is basically my moisturizer to hydrate my skin. Before I go in with some sunscreen. And I love how this just absorbs into the skin super quickly. I think this is great for all types of skin, whether you have dry skin, combo skin, and it's a beautiful base for makeup. Also, I painted my nails last night. Look at this color. This is my new favorite nail polish. I bought this at Whole Foods. It's from Karma Hughes in the shade Melt in Your Mouth. It's like the perfect brown. And the formula was thicker, so it leaves like a harder, more like gel-like consistency on the nails. It's so pretty though. Oh my God. La Roche-Posay 50. It's like a lightweight sunscreen. I love the applicator. It's so weird, but I'm into it. It's very liquidy. So I take like a decent amount. I will take more than that. And I just put this over top and I try to focus it I put it everywhere, but I try to focus it on the points of my face where I get sun damage, where I have dark spots, which is like right here. I find that a lot of people have a lot of dark spots right here. And then obviously on my forehead, and it's very white, but it sinks into the skin really beautifully. And it's not like a thick sunscreen that you have to worry about it, like moving your makeup or just like irritating you. It doesn't do any of those things. And it melts into the skin. It doesn't leave a white cast. It's really nice. And see, it gives a really beautiful glow. I really like this and I'm honestly shocked. And then last but not least, my eye cream. I always, on repeat, the Uli Henriksen Banana Bray Eye Cream. And I take a little bit with my finger, not a lot. I work it into this section and then I bring it in and it has vitamin C in it. So it helps to brighten and just the way that it catches the light. See how nice it is? It's beautiful for underneath makeup and I've noticed such a difference in terms of my fine lines and the texture around my eyes as well. I don't use a lot because a lot will irritate me. This is my daytime skincare routine and I would honestly go get dressed. And then in the next like 10 minutes, I would start my makeup and this is just a beautiful makeup base. I wish, I wish that the lighting was better, but um, excuse me, ma'am, this fat oil Nyx, listen to me. Whoever suggested this to me, thank you. This is amazing. I am never, I don't think I'm ever gonna buy the Dior lip oil again. You know I bought so many chapsticks, like tinted bombs. I tried this one for the first time tonight. All of them, I have been heavy on the rotation with the CoverGirl ones, like heavy rotation. The pink and the peach, I've been wearing nonstop. This I have not tried because I've been so into the CoverGirl ones. I don't really love this. This is like, the formula is a little sticky and it doesn't like glide across the lips and I can tell it's not as hydrating as all of the other, as all of the other lip balms, but I wish you could smell this. I don't know, it's nice. It's just, it's not as nice as the other ones. It's a really pretty like Barbie shade. I'm really in love. I'm in love with things like this. The CoverGirl ones are better, but this is the vibe. You guys know I love my Lily Henriksen Dark Spot Remover, but ever since getting my facial, my facialist told me that I should stop using that every day. I was literally using that every day because she said that my skin is so thin. I recently bought one. I do really love it. I highly recommend if you are someone that has pigmentation from the sun, it is going to be your best friend because I had a lot of dark spots and I still have dark spots, but they're definitely lighter than they used to be thanks to that toner. I have milia, I don't know if you can see, but can you see there's like a white spot in this corner? And I also have a white spot on my lid here. Sorry, that is a very unflattering angle. I either use a dark spot remover or I'll use this. This is the Kombucha 11% AHA Exfoliating Power Toner. I use to the people a Q-tip and I stick it in here. I'm 
and let it pick up some of that toner on the Q-tip. I just go over the areas of my face where I know that I have the milia or where I tend to get milia, which is usually around your eye and your nose. And if you wear glasses, especially for me, wherever your glasses sit, there could be oil buildup and that basically is what leads to milia. And what this does is it removes the layer of skin slowly over time to eventually reveal that hard white, literally just oil buildup that hardens and then is under your skin. I'm gonna use the other side and do the same thing. You can use this toner or you can use the dark spot remover to do this. But this is also really good for fine lines or if you know you just need to exfoliate your face. I would probably go back to exfoliating my face probably once a week using the dark spot toner. I just really want to amp up the hydration at the moment. That's just the vibe I've been in. But what I would do is I would just take a clean cotton round or a little bit of the dark spot remover, just whisk it across all of my face, but really focusing on the areas which I have dark spots or hyperpigmentation. So I let this sink into the skin and then I'm just going to continue on with my retinol routine, which I've already showed you guys. Just wanted to add this little tidbit because I think it's important to exfoliate your skin. If you have milia, I find that this can be really helpful. And if you have hyperpigmentation, again, I really recommend the dark spot remover. I'm gonna go ahead, get comfy, cozy, relax, finish my skincare, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Welcome to my cooking channel. Okay, so I am no chef, but this chicken carbonara that I made was a bomb. So I took a large skillet. I just sprayed some olive oil spray on the pan, let it heat up, and then I threw in some cubed pancetta. This recipe actually calls for bacon, but I hate cooking bacon. It always just, it makes such a mess. I cooked this for about, I would say like three to five minutes, and then I threw in some garlic. The recipe calls for three cloves of garlic, and I'm lazy. I just used the pre-chopped one, so I took about two heaping teaspoons. I stirred that bad boy up and probably cooked this for about two to three more minutes. I removed the pancetta from the pan, and then I threw in some thin sliced chicken breasts. Do take note that I am using one hand for the chicken and I do wash my hands before and after this because we do not want contamination. I do not want salmonella, but I just threw the chicken in there using my right hand and then I'm gonna go ahead and marinate both sides of the chicken using salt and pepper. And then I flip it over, I salt and pep the other side. And then I'm obviously gonna cook the chicken through until it is no longer pink. I forgot to mention this, but when I started this entire cooking show, I did have a large pot of water boiling in the background because I am gonna be making spaghetti. So tonight I use Barilla's Protein Plus Spaghetti, such a good easy way to get a little extra protein into your dinner. I absolutely love it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take a large bowl, doing this while the chicken and the spaghetti are cooking. I'm gonna put two eggs in the bowl, three fourths of a cup of grated Parmesan cheese, one third of a cup of freshly chopped parsley, adding a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. I'm then gonna take a fork and whisk all of this goodness together. And obviously this is gonna be the carbonara sauce. So I removed the chicken from the pan. I put the pancetta back in. And now that the pasta is done, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the pasta into the skillet. I'm gonna mix up the pasta and the pancetta. And then I'm gonna pour the egg mixture over my pasta and toss until all of the pasta is coated. Voila, this is my pasta. And then this is my chicken. I don't know, I thought the chicken was gonna go back into the pasta, but the instructions, the directions, the recipe never called for that, but this was actually delicious. This pasta was bomb. I will definitely be making this again. My carbonara was bomb and I'm shocked because it was a little confusing. Somehow I ended up with the chicken and the pasta separately when I thought that they were gonna be mixed together. But let me fix this angle. What's happening? I love how my makeup came out today though. Like my skin is just skinning. I'm gonna take off my earrings. I'm gonna go put them in my tray that I just bought and I showed you guys with the cheetahs. Um, so let me get changed into my pajamas and then we will wash the face. So basically I do the cleaning the same. I'm just gonna use my Shiseido and my Neutrogena and obviously my headband. Oh my God, I love this headband so much. It's just so convenient to just scrub the face and not get like too much into the hair. So Shiseido oil cleanser two pumps. I just washed my hands. Make sure you touch your face, you touch your eyes with clean hands. Um, dry skin. I just, I don't want to wash this off, but at the same time, tonight's routine is my favorite routine because it's just hydration and it's just so comfortable on the skin. Mm. It's just like a lot of oils and I love oils. Double cleansing, Neutrogena, skin balancing, 
I'm gonna take one pump. You guys saw this again. I'm just like repeating myself, working it into my face. Just dried my face. Now, if I ever feel like there's a little bit of makeup left over, I'll take my micellar water. I like Bioderma. This one's my favorite. I don't know, the Garnier one for some reason, like sometimes it irritates my skin, but this one never does. On a Shiseido cotton square, you do not need to buy Shiseido ones, but they did send them to me and they're pretty amazing. And I take like a decent amount. I'll do the parameters of my face where, you know, it's kind of hard to get like super close to the hairline, you know? And I'll do like the sides of my nose, see where I know there might be some makeup left over. I always have like a little bit in here, like to get in the corner of my eye, just like that. Just to make sure I get all the makeup off before I lock it in with a bunch of hydrating stuff because then that'll cause breakouts and bacteria and whatnot. I definitely took some off. And then I'll take the other side and I'll run it down my neck because I do wash my neck as much as I can, but it's hard to get it in the sink when I'm not showering. And look at that. I have been loving this. I've been using it ever since I got my facial, but this is the Hydropeptide Moisture Reset. It's a phytonutrient facial oil, anti-wrinkle and restore. It basically has a bunch of antioxidants, which you guys know I love antioxidants, and a dozen precious oils to lock in moisture and helps protect skin from environmental stressors and free radicals, which is essentially what antioxidants do. So I take about a pump of this, and I like to do this, okay? Some people say it wastes product, but I like to warm the product into my skin. Well, in between my hands so that it like really absorbs into the skin. And I use swiping motions and then like patting motions. This is so hydrating. And this has been one of my new favorite skincare products that I've tried recently. I bring it down my neck. I love to bring it down my chest. You guys know, normally I would have no clothes on. And then I'm gonna give that a little bit of time to just sink into the skin, but like, look at how juicy this is on my skin. My favorite skincare product of all time, Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. Take like just a little bit of this, cause this is very thin and a little goes a very long way. I'm letting the hydropeptide sink into my skin before then like patting this and just adding more moisture to the base. This feels so good. It's like a dry oil. Oh my God. But honestly, I credit this to my wrinkles not being as deep anymore. It's such a good product. I love Kiehl's and everything that doesn't absorb into my face, I put it on my hands. Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate Omega Rich. I use this every night, guys. I'm just gonna like lock it in. And this will just glide across the skin because there's so much moisture on my face. Normally when you use a brand, the products play well together. I really like the Omega Rich Cream during this routine. I don't like it so much with my retinol routine because I find that it doesn't glide across my skin the way that it does when I put it over the Midnight Recovery Concentrate. Literal match made in heaven, which makes sense because they're both from the Midnight Recovery line. I use the same eye cream that I used last night from Silvel Skin RX. And then I'll put some Laneige lip sleeping mask on my lips when I crawl into bed later. This is it. This is my nighttime routine number two. My favorite personally, just because it's like, I feel like this is the perfect winter routine for me. Again, if you have dry skin, try it. And if you wanna try all of the products that I mentioned, incorporate one product at a time. So if you wanna go out and buy my entire routine, that's fine. Obviously I support that because I love each and every product that I mentioned, but I would go out and buy the Midnight Recovery Concentrate and work that into your current routine just to make sure you don't break out or your skin doesn't act funny. Because if you pick up a whole new routine and then you go to do it at night and the next morning you have a reaction, you can't pinpoint which product in the routine caused that reaction. So I hope that makes sense. But me and my glossy ass skin are going to change to my pajama top, get into my soft, cozy robe, have a cup of tea, and then I'm gonna go to bed. I wake up bright and early tomorrow to work out before work and take a cold ass shower. But I love you guys so much. Do be sure to let me know down below in the comments. Did you enjoy this skincare vlog? Was this informative? Are you gonna try something? 
do be sure to let me know. I would love to hear any of your thoughts and let me know if there's something that you would like me to touch upon in an upcoming vlog. I would love to do so. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for joining me and I really hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.